thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to share part one of my Hawaii haul. If you're tuning in for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to do these luxury fashion videos here on YouTube. I share hauls and reviews, but at the end of the day, I share my journey so we can all mindfully curate our own collections. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below with your favorite item from this haul. All of your support really means a lot to me. Some of you might know that I have been visiting Hawaii and I have been fortunate enough to be able to do quite a bit of shopping. Um, I know it can seem a bit annoying, but I actually, I think I'm gonna have to do a multi-part haul. This is going to be a mix of some luxury and non-luxury items and then I think I'm gonna do a separate haul that's focused on all of the Hermes pieces that I got. And there are some goodies in that haul too, so stay tuned. As you can see, I have a lot to get through, so I'm really going to like buzz right through everything. I will try to leave links and descriptions of everything in the description box down below. Um, so please open that up and check it out if you have any questions or you're curious about an item. I'm going to do my best to answer all of your questions in the comments as well. If the lighting, setup, sound, any of that is off from my usual video, I hope you understand. I couldn't bring all of my regular filming equipment with me, so I'm, I'm trying the best with what I have and the diminishing sunlight as we speak. Uh, so hope you understand, hope it's not too bad. I think I'm just gonna grab random things and just show them without any rhyme or reason, um, just so that I can get through everything. I'm gonna start with these little plushies here. I actually picked these up from the ABC store. You might hear a lot of people reference an ABC store when they visit Hawaii. There are a ton of them in Waikiki. Um, and so, and the, each ABC store has like a slightly different assortment of stuff. Um, so one ABC store had a whole bunch of Hello Kitty plushies, which is a little sunburnt and has a little uh, I Love Hawaii sign, which I just couldn't, I just, I just had to have. Um, and this one's actually a little musubi. A little spam musubi with a cute face so just picked up some plushies to remember the trip um, and also to have as little gifts handy to give um, any of our like nieces you know little babies next let me just quickly share what was at the Moomin shop in Hawaii uh, Moomin is a Finnish character I believe and I remember seeing a lot of this when I was visiting Scandinavia and I was surprised to see that there was a Hawaii store and they had some like Hawaii exclusive merch. So first is a little wooden puzzle. This I actually got to give as a gift to a friend. Next is this little tote, uh, which has Moomin hugging a palm tree and it says Aloha. Super cute. Then I also got a little pouch that has a very cute Moomin print on it. So these are, I think these prints were specific to the Hawaii store. That's why I picked up all the Hawaii pieces. I think I'll actually go through some of the local stores first that I like to shop at. So this one's a shop called Bikini Bird. Um, they have a few locations throughout Oahu. I picked up, I actually picked up a couple of items there. Uh, one is this pair of sweatpants. It's from the brand called The Upside. It's just white pair of sweatpants. I was struggling to find sweatpants that aren't fleece lined. A lot of times they will have fleece in them and it's really hot. Then the other item I picked up from Bikini Bird is actually this little cover-up. It's like a cotton gauze, super cute. I'll insert a picture because I think that'll show this a lot better than me holding it up like this. But um, if you are in Oahu, um, definitely check out Bikini Bird uh, for like your beach needs. It's a super cute shop. And like I said, they have multiple locations. One of the other stores that I like to shop at, which is another local like, kind of beachwear store, is called... Mahina. They also have a lot of locations throughout the island. I got two dresses from there. It's also a good beach shop uh, for like beachwear, cover-ups, summer dresses. It's perfect. Another like local store that I consider a local brand is Maui Divers Jewelry. This is actually a gift for my mom. She was looking for some pearl earrings and I figured uh, what better place to get it than here. <laughs> so I actually picked up these pearl earrings for her. They were at a really, really great price, at least for like for the size and the quality of the pearls. Um, I really, really liked the selection they had here. Um, they have plain studs, they have other designs as well, so definitely check it out. I feel like it serves as a good like souvenir, but also a very nice like gift. Another store that had like Hawaii exclusive items, even though it's not in a Hawaii brand, it was actually Lululemon. They have like, I think they call it their Aloha collection, which meant it was their signature styles that had 
certain decal or designs on them for them to be Hawaii merchandise. So this is like an example. This is one of the shirts that we got. You can see it has a little rainbow and it says H&L on it. So we, I picked up a bunch of these to give as gifts. Okay, I'm gonna start from the very back because the Bottega bag is all the way in the back. Um, at Bottega, I actually picked up a birthday gift for my partner. We got a nice little shacket, I call it. Um, it's like black. It has this cute like pocket detail on the arm and you can see like the little bit of the green underside coming through. Um, it's really nice. It feels a little bit thicker than and more like regular fabric compared to the Prada nylon fabric. So it feels a lot more breathable but it's equally as warm and it's not so what's the word like athletic looking it's not like a windbreaker looking piece and it looks much more like a a, a proper like shacket so pick this up for him from Kith in their signature like aqua blue bag in Hawaii I picked up this really fun t-shirt <laughs> um, my partner and I have an ongoing joke about like the wolves shirts what's it called three wolves one moon like kind of shirt from like the 90s so we thought this was cute it was also kind of funny so we picked this up can't wait I'm going to wear this a lot more in New York so I had a really good score at Celine I was super super excited I wasn't expecting to find this item but I was thrilled that I did from Celine I picked up this little envelope style wallet on chain this has sold out online. I saw it a couple of months ago for the first time on their website. I fell in love, I wanted to buy it, but it was sold out online. Um, it was sold out in stores, at least the nearby stores around me. I even asked a friend who lives in Europe asking if they could find it in Europe, but they had no luck there. And literally I found it at the Celine store in the Ala Moana Mall. <laughs> Um, and I immediately started using it already because I only brought three bags with me. Uh, one was my Kelly and then the other bags were really small so instead I actually found that this was like a perfect size because it fits your phone. You can put all of your cards in the back like this. I don't know. Hopefully maybe you can see the inside. Um, and the, the strap is detachable in case you want to carry it more like a clutch. I love that this emblem is a little bit smaller. The leather version of this same walk has like the Triumph logo like take up this whole space. But I like that this one's smaller. Um, I know they also did a re redesign on this style and there's a newer version coming out. But I was so glad that I could snag the original version that I saw, the original style. I love this. In front in here from this Louis Vuitton bag is actually a t-shirt that my partner got. Uh, this is the Louis Vuitton band tee, for lack of a better word. So it's kind of a, a play on the classic band merch that you might get at a concert. He really liked the shirt so he got it for himself. The Louis Vuitton does not have Hawaii price. Celine does have Hawaii price on their ready to wear, maybe their shoes as well. The leather goods did not have Hawaii price. Uh, Louis Vuitton does not have Hawaii price so you save on tax. But Bottega has Hawaii price. Uh, even on their ready to wear. I think all of their items have Hawaii price so Bottega is definitely a good brand to check out while you're in Hawaii for the savings. I will move on to my Montclair purchase. I think I'm just gonna do the Montclair purchase via photos because it'll be easier to see as well. You might be laughing at me getting Montclair in Hawaii but actually the Montclair store in Hawaii has really good inventory like has really good stock. They have really good buys as well so um, they anticipate uh, that their clientele are going to be mostly tourists who live in, in colder climates so um, I was browsing the Montclair store and I came across this short down jacket and I was also surprised that they did diamond quilting usually they do the like horizontal little rows but um, this particular style caught my eye because of the diamond quilting on it I felt like the diamond quilting made it look a little bit more elevated and also the style itself was just very easy to wear easy to layer underneath an oversized coat as well I can use it multiple ways so I liked the diamond quilting I liked that it was short and black the thing to note about sizing is this style is pretty pretty oversized. I think I got a size 2, but normally I'm at least like a size 4. 
or five in some styles. It depends on how oversized I want it to be. A size two fit me really well, so that's just something to note. I feel like it's a really good, easy, like, winter style to have. Hopefully it's not getting too dark. I'm trying my best, again, with the remnants of sunlight that I have left. I have two more items to get through, I think, and they are pretty amazing items, if you can tell from the bags. Ta-da! I will start with this Cartier bag. Ta-da! Here, let me do a close-up of all my little, the paper wrapping. I didn't even open the paper wrapping, guys. And the little emblems on the side. Oh, so, so precious. So precious. For the sake of time, I'm just going to insert a picture of what I got because, again, this sunlight is valuable. It was the Just Include Single Earring. And they sell those as a single and not as a pair. It's the smallest size. It's yellow gold. I believe they only make that style in yellow gold. This was an unexpected item. This was not something that I was actively looking for. This was not something that I actually was going to check out the store for. But I walked into Cartier with my friend because my friend wanted to check out the Clash Ring. And let me tell you, the Clash Ring is also really amazing. I tried it on. I really liked it. I also fell in love with the Panther Ring. That's for later. While I was in the store helping my friend shop, I noticed that they had a lot of these items like in the case, so I just wanted to try one on out of curiosity. Then I fell in love and clearly it came home with me. Cartier also does not have Hawaii price, but so it's more savings from the tax front. Um, but also, again, they had really good inventory. I've gone to even the flagship Cartier store and they don't have a lot of items. So uh, definitely worth checking out. The Cartier's in the Ala Moana Mall. I believe that's the only location they have in Oahu. Last but not least is that green bag. It's a very special green bag. Uh, it's a very special item and strictly speaking it's not for me but I'm going to wear it. A lot of you might be familiar with that green bag and what that means uh, but it is indeed from Rolex. So my partner and I are planning to get married next year and as a wedding present I wanted to get him a really nice watch. Ideally, I wanted to get him a Rolex watch and I wanted to get him something that was a bit unique from the boutiques. I've been trying a lot in New York City, trying to have a lot of runway to get something, um, but it's been quite difficult, so we thought we would give it a shot while we were in Hawaii as well. Uh, I think timing and luck was on our side. We were able to get something. I'm super thrilled I was able to get something for him. And like I said, I'm going to be wearing it too. This is the watch. Let me see if you can see it well here. Um, but this is a very special uh, 41 millimeter date just. It has a fluted dial in a navy blue color. It also has a fluted bezel and it has the Oyster Perpetual bracelet on it. It is a really nice watch. Like, very nice. Um, I feel like it's really great to dress up and dress down. It also looks very different from my own Datejust. I know we can hear Datejust and feel like it's a very like everyday watch, like a lot of people can have it or whatever, but like each style, I feel like with the different dial and bezel combination with the different bracelets, each one can look very different. So I, I feel like even if it's a Datejust, like you shouldn't discount it. You should definitely check it out because each piece can be quite unique. So this is another mega item that we were able to pick up from this latest trip to Hawaii. And with that, I think I'm going to end my collective Hawaii haul. Like I mentioned earlier, there will be a part two that focuses on the Hermes pieces that I picked up from Hawaii. There's some goodies in there too. Please check out the description box down below for any of these items. I'll do my best to link them. If not, at least try to put style numbers and things like that down there. Normally my video schedule was two videos a week. And I know for the last couple of months I've been struggling to keep to a set schedule. Um, I'm doing my best to try and upload here and there as best as I can, uh, but I really appreciate all of you sticking around, still watching my videos and, and kind of checking in on Instagram and things like that. Just given that I've been traveling to Hawaii as well, I wanted to take some time to um, recharge and um, kind of find, find my mojo, if you will, um, for filming. 
So I appreciate all of you being here, all of you watching this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, bye!